In this lesson, we're going to take a look at callouts and zoom in pans. Here I'm in Watchdogs, and I'm just about to cross the finish line, and I want to do a little call out just as I cross it, calling myself super awesome because I won, got first place. So all I have to do is find the point where I want to do the call out. I'll just press play and get up right there. I just finished first. So now what I want to do is go ahead and tag in a call out. Come over here and you just click on call outs tab. It'll pull up the call outs tab. Then to add a call out, you can just click the add call out button or you can just click one of the call out options. So I'll just click this box right here. Now call outs are pretty simple. You can scale them. You'll notice it's got this blue box here. I can scale it, change its size, and I can also move it wherever I want. So I can move it up over here and then I can just type something into the area. Now before you start typing, you usually want to go ahead and set up the text format. So I'm going to go ahead and use Trajan Pro because that's one of my favorites. A lot of people hate it, but I, I love the Trajan Pro text. Let me see if I can find it. Once I have the text I want, I'll change the size. I'm going to go ahead and change it to like a 72. And I'm just going to type in, uh, because I'm awesome. <laughs> and of course that text was a bit big, so I want to scale it up a bit. And now what we want to do is probably the text white's probably fine, but I don't really want this blue background in here with this call out. So you can change the background. You can go into the fill effect. I can change it to a black or I could change it to really any color I want. I can even use a color picker and select one of these colors inside of the video. Well, another way I could do it is I could change the border as well. So I could uh, change my border and I could also make it have no fill. So I could go like that and then there's no fill and I can also turn off the border. And you just want to play with this and find out the settings that you want to do. You know, you, you finish first because I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, down here in the timeline, you can see that you can move it around and change its location. And the way these sliders work is you can... Um, adjust these to have it fade in slower or fade out slower. To do that really all you have to do is come over here to the fade in properties and you can increase this time and it'll and it will fade in a lot slower or a lot faster based on how you do this one second time slide fade in and the fade out can also be changed to be a little bit slower. So then I can go back kind of go back a little bit and see how this turns out and I'm going to click off so I can see it. Let's click play. And there you have it. You have this nice little call out and it will fade out as soon as it hits this end marker. It'll just fade out and that's all there is to call outs. You can do different kinds of call outs and play around with that. Now the other thing I wanted to take a look at is zoom in pans. Now for zoom in pans, let's say I'm just coming up and I'm about to pass this guy here and just as I pass him I want to zoom in on this other player in my video. Well to do that I'll just come over here and click on the zoom in pan tab. And then all I have to do is just adjust this zoom and pan options here. Now this is fairly simple to do. It will scale proportionally and you can see that you can maintain the aspect ratio. You can also disable this if you want it to scale in a disproportionate manner. But do be aware as you can see it is stretching my screen. You can hit control Z to go back if you don't like the way you scale. But I don't want it scaling disproportionately so I'm going to go ahead and recheck that box. And then I'm going to go ahead and set this back up to full. So I'll get up here to the top and then probably bring it down to the bottom again. And you'll, you can see that you kind of have to adjust it. Adjust it. And if you don't like it at any time, you can always click on the option. This is your zoom in pan. You can just press delete and that'll reset it back to its original position. So now I just want to go ahead and zoom in on this guy here as I'm passing him. So I'm going to move it around a little bit and you can choose exactly where it's going. And then I can go ahead and click play. So I'm going to see this effect in action. I'll rewind a little bit. And you can see just as I was passing him, it kind of zoomed in. And now I'll go ahead and zoom back out again, you know. Um, or I could just rewind. And I can even combine this, you know, so after I zoom and pan, uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and click play. It zooms in. And then right here I can add a little call out. So I can say something, you know, I can just add a call out, you know, and here's my because I'm awesome text. I'll just make that plop in right there. And then I'll shrink this up a little bit. You know, so it's not so long. And then we'll just rewind that. Go ahead and play it again. And 
and you can see I just wrecked that guy. <laughs> you know, I just passed him. And then I'll go ahead and come up a little bit. And because I've already passed him, I don't need to be zoomed in anymore. So I'll go ahead and go back to zoom and pan. Click on that, and I'll just go ahead and rescale this out. Now you'll want to position it back in your lower corner, and then just scale it out again. And you'll notice that it added another option here where it's zooming out, and I can just click off that. Now I accidentally added a zoom and pan to this. You want to make sure if you do something like that, you have the clip selected that you want to add your zoom and pan to. Otherwise, because you can zoom in on your text, like I can select this text, and I can also add a zoom and pan onto it. You know, and now it, you see it has its own zoom and pan. It's affecting both because there's two on this timeline, but I, I don't want to do that. And I'm just actually going to hit Control Z. So that's all there really is to zoom and pan. So now you can see the effects, both zoom and pan and callouts in action. Just to give you... <laughs> and that's just to give you some ideas of all the cool stuff that you can do in Camtasia Studio. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can overlay video on top of another video and how we can use external audio in order to do voiceovers from pre-recorded video. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoof.com.